Good evening, Madam Chair, members of the board, and Dr. Heron. Thank you for the opportunity to present to you this evening as part of the Equity Series presentations. On behalf of the Office of Student Services, I will share information about our high school non-traditional program called the Learning Lab, along with some data points that demonstrate how the Learning Lab helps keep students on track toward graduation who may otherwise fall behind. The Student Services Department provides different learning formats for students who are unable to attend their assigned school due to medical, emotional, or behavioral reasons. Prior to the opening of the Learning Lab, these learning options were very limited, but included placement at Enterprise Academy and homebound or home-based instruction. While Enterprise Academy is an appropriate placement for only a small number of students based on serious disciplinary incidents, the majority of the students in need of a different learning option accessed homebound and home-based services. As the number of students in need of a different setting increased, it became more difficult to meet the demand. The Learning Lab opened in the spring semester of 2015 as a pilot program and has now become a full-time resource to meet the individual instructional needs of students. While non-traditional programs operate differently across the nation, there are some identified characteristics of effective programs. These characteristics include providing instruction in a learning environment that is not like traditional school, providing one-on-one -on -one support for students, employing a staff with an underlying philosophy of acceptance and who have the ability to build meaningful relationships with students, and helping students make connections to the future. High school completion can be accessible to students who are not successful in traditional school settings by providing a separate nurturing environment, an accessible curriculum, support with content and emotional needs, and an accepting staff. Because this atmosphere is so different from what students are used to, most students are willing to give school another chance. This slide illustrates the theory by which the program operates. In terms of short and long-term goals, the Learning Lab strives to keep students on track to graduate on time by earning their usual four credits per semester and passing any end-of-course test. When the program began, we followed the traditional model of having students take four courses each semester. We quickly learned that juggling four online courses was challenging for students, and we adjusted the format to include having students complete two courses each nine weeks. The result is the same, but having to manage only two courses at a time keeps it manageable for students. This year we're monitoring when students enter the program and we're making further adjustments to include offering semester-long courses if needed. Last year we had an 85% completion rate for all of our courses. The Learning Lab is an instructional option for students who are unable to access or achieve success in the regular school setting. The program operates on an abbreviated schedule, offering two sessions from which students may choose. Either the morning session, which meets from 9 to 12 Monday through Thursday and 9 to 11 on Friday, or the afternoon session, which meets from 1 to 4.30 Monday through Thursday. There are currently 20 spaces available per session. This is based on the success that we've found keeping the student to teacher ratio around 10 to 1. Students in the Learning Lab take coursework online under the supervision of two teachers and a part-time counselor in the lab. This year we're using the two teachers to deliver blended instruction for English and math courses. This means that the students continue working online, but the teachers are able to offer more targeted instruction when students struggle with concepts. The teachers are offering learning stations in addition to individual support. However, instruction in the Learning Lab does not look one way. It takes the form of whatever each student needs to be successful. The Learning Lab is currently located in the Annex, or 900 building, on the campus of Lafayette High School. As the Learning Lab was being developed, the program that was previously in the Annex closed, leaving some space vacant. We repurposed a room in the Annex for the program and have since learned just how well the function of that location works. Having the exterior entrance, the bus loop, and the central location of the program all feed into the success of the program for all, th all three high school students. Coming to the Learning Lab can be done through an, a referral from a school counselor, an administrator, or a parent, or through the disciplinary hearing process. 
Many of the students served in the learning lab are dealing with social emotional issues such as anxiety that made the traditional setting difficult to navigate and for whom without this option would most likely pursue homebound services. Other students have accessed the learning lab because they have become disengaged from school and are at risk of dropping out or they may have been long term suspended from school. Based on the established climate in the learning lab, all of the students we have served have found some form of success, and I would like to point out that in over two years, we've only had one disciplinary incident. To help illustrate just how creative we can be with individual needs, I would like to share the story of one student who came to the lab who was considering being homeschooled. After we met to enroll the student, he decided he wanted to participate in a sport. We worked with the zoned school to create a hybrid schedule of one school-based course along with the learning lab courses so that the student could be eligible to participate. By creating a unique schedule to meet this student's needs, he continued to do that format and he was able to earn additional credits and he actually graduated early. Here is the perspective of a current student who came to the learning lab through a counselor referral. What the Learning Lab has meant to me, it's, it's changed my life dramatically. I like how everything is just right there where you need it, when you need it. I really like the location that it's at right now and I really enjoy coming to school every day. <laughs> I thought it was going to be boring, I thought I was going to have a terrible time focusing by myself and then it well exceeded my expectations. I come in here every day, smile on my face. I don't feel the need to like pretend that I'm sick so I don't have to come in. I Everything's just changed and I love it. And it's just changed a lot about my attitude on going to college and um, what I want to do with my life. Other student perspectives are quoted here, and as you read through these, you will see that one theme that students in the learning lab maintain is a lack of distraction. Another point that the students like to make is the level of connectedness to the program, which is ultimately affecting graduation rates. I'm happy to share with you some numbers from the past two and a half years. Uh, this slide illustrates the number of students we've served by school. The Learning Lab has served a total of 85 Lafayette students, 53 Jamestown students, and 43 Warhill students to date. A total of 181 students have been served in the Learning Lab over the past two years, and this shows you the breakdown by semester and by school. Two hundred ninety-five total credits have been earned and there is the potential for well over 100 credits to be earned by the end of this semester. As you can see, and by the end of this semester that last graph will go even higher, uh, we continue to push students to earn as many credits as they can. Once students come to the Learning Lab, we work with them toward their own intended outcome. Students typically want to graduate by finishing up whatever requirements they have left, return to their zone school, remain in the program, or sometimes the student and the family determine that a referral to the GED program may be appropriate. Finally, you see the SOL pass rate results by students in the learning lab. Last year, during first semester, during 16-17 semester one, you do see a dip, but that was our first year having a full-time program and we had a brand new staff along with it. So there was a slight learning curve that went along with it, but by second semester we got the results back up. This final video clip is of a school administrator and a school counselor discussing the impact of the learning lab on their students. Having a different building 
um, with different furniture from the regular desks just rams home that this is different. The expectation is going to be a little different. And there's going to be a little bit more responsibility put upon you when you take a look at the furniture in the room and it looks like an office. Um, it raises the expectation level there um, for students. I feel like from a counselor's perspective, having the learning lab for our students has been awesome. It's been wonderful. It, it gives these kids, especially our students who have social anxiety, um, it gives them a chance to complete their coursework, to come into class every day, and to and the fact that we have teachers out here working with them, I think has been wonderful. Lafayette's in a very special situation because it is housed right outside of our building. So we do have a couple of students who come into our building to take one class and then come to the learning lab to complete the rest of their classes. So we are allowing those kids to have a very flexible schedule, but it works. I think that, that statement right there, it works. Mm -hmm. For some students, we've tried to put interventions and, and, and things in place and plans in place and it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. Um, and this was another opportunity and it enabled some students to get a high school diploma and graduate on time, um, whereas they may not have made that mark, mm -hmm. you know, any other way. I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have.